Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh no. Shawty, I don't want to do it. Hey Spider Nerds, Alan here. If you've been keeping up with this Spider-Man web shooter build series, then you'll know that we've got the webbing, we've got the spider strength, and we've got the web shooting. So all we've got to do now is to put it all together. This is our first web shooter prototype. It's really clunky right now, but it's still just a prototype and it shouldn't be hard to make it smaller later, especially since it's mostly made of wood instead of metal. This little push button here actuates the valve and it's connected in a simple circuit with this battery back here. That means we're operating this poor little guy way outside of operating spec, but it still works. This is our pressure chamber, this is the solenoid valve, and then this is our barrel with the over the barrel type grappling hook. Now in the last video, almost all the comments voted for this type of grappling hook, so that's the one I'm using. As you can see, this new grappling hook is way smaller and lighter than the old test version. And the pipe I'm using now is rated to 300 PSI instead of 150, so we can up the pressure to over 200 PSI for this test. So let's see how this thing shoots. Prototype web shooter. First shot in three, two, one. Here we go! So the shooter part of the web shooter works great, but we still need a release mechanism so that I don't get stuck to whatever I've grappled onto. Now, I tried a lot of different mechanisms that use pins or triggers or latches, and they all had the same problem. They took up too much space and they were hard to electrically control. So we're gonna have to think outside the box and try this mechanism here. The Kevlar line is attached to the harness via this spectral loop. I got a lot of comments in part one suggesting Spectra for webbing since its strength is on par with Kevlar. One nice thing for this application is that Spectra melts at 257 degrees Fahrenheit, just a little over the boiling point of water. This Spectra loop has nichrome wire wrapped around two points here, and this button makes the nichrome red hot. When we push the button, the Spectra should break at one or both points and release the Kevlar line. Hopefully. So I'm wearing my spider strength harness. Our web shooter is hooked into this wood up here. And all I gotta do is put all my weight on this, assuming it holds up. Then I'll push this button and see if the quick release works. This is terrifying. Okay, you know what? My weight's off. All right, quick release. Oh no, in three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> That's not bad. Everything's still in one piece. I think that worked pretty well. <laughs> but we gotta find out if this will work on the mean streets of Culver City. This doesn't look like a bomb, does it? So we found this sweet billboard right by where I live. We're gonna see if I can grapple onto it and then do a few swings and then detach using our whole web shooter system. Obviously, we've still got some work to do. All right, so what happened was our line snapped the knot down where it connected at the actual web shooter. You can see like our spectra loop is actually still intact. It broke right at here. Uh, I'm wondering if this metal part actually isn't helping. I got it so that it would relieve some stress off of the knot. I think the important thing to take away from this though is that the grappling hook totally held my weight and it didn't snap at where it kind of bent around the end, which was a concern. So. I think this is going to be good to go someday. Maybe not today. Uh, oh, that was so close though. I was, I was hanging on it. Oh, leave me a comment telling me what you think I could do to improve this, make it work right next time. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up with this crazy web shooter project. Um, thanks for watching.